Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Mr. 3D. Today we are going to take a look at material tools that comes along with the building tools add-on. In the previous tutorial, we have created the house using building tools. And in this tutorial, we are going to texture that house using material tools. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into this tutorial. Alright, so first of all, you are going to open up the scene that you have created using my previous tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to texture this house using material tools. And it has all the maps you're going to need to texture. So it won't take our too much time. So let's just jump straight into this. First of all, you're going to split the window. Go over to this corner. And once this arrow changes, click on it and drag it out. Just like this. And click right here and go over to the shader editor. Make a little space and then split this window again right here and go over to the UV editor. Perfect. And then what we are going to do is select your house and then press tab to go into the edit mode. And then select walls. Make sure it's in cube projection all right cube projection and then material walls make sure it's right here select and it's gonna select this and assign this to this material right here and then what we are going to do is to click on use nodes it's gonna make a output and principal bsdf so what we are going to do is to add a uh, brick texture so to add the brick texture we are going to press shift a and then click on search type in brick and plug the color into the base color and make sure you are in material preview and then from here change the color just right here like so perfect and then what we are going to do is to select this to UV unwrap what you are going to do is to go into the edit preferences add-on section type in node Wangular this is the add-on we are going to enable so once it's enabled just save the preferences close the preferences and then select your brick texture and press ctrl T is going to add texture coordinate and mapping setup so what you're going to use from here is the UV map right here plug that right here and it's gonna look like this beautiful so now your house walls are looking like walls brick walls from here just change the scale like so and you can see there are very weird kind of distortions going on so to fix them what we are going to do is just go into the normal view and then control space to make it full window and then from here unselect all the faces from sides like so from here as well from here and from here perfect and then go into the front view by navigating from your numpad one two seven four or control one two seven four it's going to show you so in my case i am going to make sure it's in front view and make sure all the front faces are selected not the uh, side faces or back faces so go into the front view and press U project from view bounces. If you go into the material preview, now the weird distortions are gone as you can see right here. So if I undo this, you can see. Now if I do this again, press U project from view bounces. And it's gonna fix this so it's an amazing tool 
amazing and also do the same for the rest of it I'm going to just increase the speed of this video because I have already showed you the method how to do this perfect so now what you're going to do is is to add roof material so now make sure go into the edit mode select all the walls and press P make sure everything is deselected then select walls and then press P separate selection It's going to make walls a different mesh in its own mesh like so now what we are going to do is to select the main house and then click on roof so here is the new thing and then cube projection click assign new material select and as you can see right here so for the roof textures I'm going to show you this free texture website you can download roof textures I will leave the link in the description below for you to check out there is a different variety of roof textures and these are free so in my case I'm going to use this one so I have already downloaded it and I'm just going to apply it so now press control space to go out of full view and then make sure you have material roof from here to here same and then click on use nodes as you have enabled the node wrangler add-on just have to click Control shift t and it's going to locate you where your texture is so in my case i have now we are going to select height roughness normal base color and it's gonna automatically apply these materials to it uh, base color does not come so let me just add it by my own here it is now and then just quickly attach it with it and as you can see We are not going to use displacement right now just leave it like that and then as you can see we have our roof texture now applied simple and easy and for this slabs edges just go into the edit mode and make sure everything is selected by double tapping a and then click on slabs select and then assign new material is going to add new material slab and then use nodes and simply make it metallic make it a little bit darker and full roughness that's it now it has this material and for the roof tongues just click on it and assign new material use nodes make it full black metallic zero roughness that's it as you can see it's looking very beautiful for the rest of it I'm going to fast forward this video because I have told you the basics so I don't want to waste your time
So that's it for this tutorial. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section below. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share it with your friends. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you again guys with tips and tricks, things like this.